friends, welcome back. Now we have reached to simplex table number three of our problem, the linear programming problem which we are solving through B game method. Simplex table two is here. We had selected x1 as key column and r4 as key row. 60 is our key element. Now since R4, second row is the key row, we have to prepare second row of the new table first. That will be R6. So we have to prepare R6 first and formula is very simple. Old key row divided by key element. Old key row is R4 divided by key element is 60. So 160th of R4 is going to be R. R6, 60 divided by 60 is 1, 0 divided by 60 is 0, 1 divided by 60 is 1 by 60, minus 1 divided by 60 is minus 1 by 60. We are not going to write anything in now A1 and A2 or we are going to drop the two columns of A1 and A2 because they have no role. Now, since in this table we are also going to drop A2 from the row and the artificial variable which we draw from the row the column of that artificial variable should also be dropped to make the table easy now 2400 divided by 60 is 40 okay now what now it is turn of our first row of the new table that will be r5 that will take place of r3 and the formula is what is the formula the formula is old row r3 minus sign the element in the key column in that particular row 2 by 5 into replaced row r6 so r3 minus 2 by 5 r6 is going to be our row 5 r3 is 2 by 5 here minus sign according to formula 2 by 5 now according to formula into r6 is 1 so ultimately this is 2 by 5 minus 2 by 5 so 0 here r3 is 1 minus sign according to formula 2 by 5 according to formula into 0 so it is 0 1 minus 0 so 1 since we have obtained the unit matrix here any one of you can believe that now we have read the optimal solution but friends never go on that type of sign that in the basic variable we have already obtained unit matrix so this should be optimal solution no the optimization should be checked through delta j row only this is case of minimization so only when we get all data value zero or positive that will be the optimal solution we will not decide the optimality of the solution only on the basis of getting unit matrix in the basic variables now next r3 is 1 minus 1 by 50 here minus sign according to formula 2 by 5 according to formula and r6 is 1 by 60 here don't hesitate always do rough work freely 1 by 50 negative minus 2 by 5 into 1 by 60 what will be it 2 and 60 can be cancelled by 30 into 5 so it will be 1 by 150 minus 1 by 50 minus 1 by 150 let us take 150 as LCM 150 divided by 50 is 3 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 minus sign as it is 150 divided by 150 is 1 into 1 is 1 so ultimately it comes to minus 4 by 150 or it is minus 2 by 75 minus 2 by 75 or minus 4 by 150 you can write it now next is 0 as r3 negative sign according to this formula 2 by 5 according to this formula into r6 means into minus 1 by 60 0 minus minus again minus 2 upon 300 or minus 1 upon 150 so 0 minus minus 1 by 50 is ultimately 
पॉजिटिव वन बाय वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी नाउ इयर आर थ्री इज नाइंटी सिक्स माइनस साइन अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस फॉर्मूला टू बाय फाइव अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस फॉर्मूला इनटू फोर्टी मींस आर सिक्स सो नाइंटी सिक्स माइनस फोर्टी इनटू टू कम्स टू एटी डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव इज सिक्सटीन सो अल्टीमेटली इट इज एटी so this is our row 5 now we need zj but to have zj values first we have to substitute the variables in the solution variable column in the first row there will be no change because it was not a key row since r4 was key row we have to drop its variable a2 and x1 will take its place as x1 is a variable of the key column So now x2 and x1 has arrived in the column of solution variable. The z will rather coefficient of x2 in z function was 24, and for x1 it is 40. Now only we can write the z value. After writing z values, we can write delta z value. Z j 24 into 0 0 plus 40 into 140, so it is 40. 24 into 124 plus 14 into 0, 24. 24 into minus 2 by 75, so it will be minus 48 by 75. Plus 40 into 1 by 60 is 40 by 60. 300 is going to be the LCM of these two. 300 divided by 75, 4. 4 into 48. 192 but negative plus 300 divided by 60 that is 5 5 into 40 200 ultimately it is 8 by 300 that is 2 by 75 positive now what 24 into 1 by 150 is 24 by 150 Don't hesitate to do rough work. Don't hesitate. Twenty-four into one twenty-four by one fifty plus forty into minus one by sixty. So it is minus forty by sixty. Again, three hundred becomes LCM of these two one fifty and sixty. Three hundred divided by one fifty. It is two two into twenty-four forty-eight minus sign. 300 divided by 60 is 5. 5 into 40 is 200. So ultimately, it comes to minus 152 upon 300. Uh, both can be divided by 4, so it will be minus um, 38 divided by 75. Minus 38 by 75. Since we don't know whether that is optimal solution or not. Still, we are not going to write the zj value in the solution value column. But now we can write the delta z value as cj minus zj. 40 minus 40, 0. 24 minus 24, 0. 0 minus 2 by 75. Minus 2 by 75. This is not the optimal solution. 0 minus minus 38 by 75. So it is positive 38 by 75. Since this is minimization case, we should have all values zero or positive. But this one is since negative. That means this is not the optimal solution, and we have to select the lowest delta z value because our objective is to minimize the objective function. So S one becomes the key column. <coughs> uh, let us find out the replacement ratio. It will be 80 divided by minus 2 by 75. Since the result is negative, we are not going to write anything because if we write negative ratio there, there will be a possibility of selecting it as a minimum ratio. But mind well, remember we need to select minimum positive ratio. So we are not going to write negative value here. i also suggest you not to write negative value there write only positive ratios so that we can select the correct positive minimum ratio now 40 should be divided by 1 by 60 40 divided by 1 by 
it will be 2400 it is alone positive so it must be selected so R6 has become the key row and S1 has become the key column and 1 by 60 has become the key element we need at least one more simplex table and in that we will prepare R7 and R8 R8 will be the replaced row it will take place of R6 and R8 will be R6 divided by 1 by 60 or we have to multiply R6 by 60 that's all now in the next video lecture we are going to prepare simplex table 4 of this problem thank you very much